January 28th of this year, Savannah State's Robbie Wells resigned as head football coach. Just a week later, Wells said he was forced out. Yeah, the timing became a major question in Wells' departure just days before National Signing Day. Now, sports director Ken Slats started asking questions and finding some troubling answers. Indeed so, guys. Early February, we first reported on several recruits shunned by Savannah State after receiving verbal offers from Wells and verbally committing to the Tigers. Five out-of-state recruits I talked with say once Wells was gone from the school, coaches had little or no contact with them to explain the situation the football program was now in. Wells claims he was never told that out-of-state recruiting was an issue until after his departure. Assistant coach Julius Dixon was named interim head coach the day Wells resigned. Here's an excerpt from my interview with Dixon on February 8th. If the directive to begin with was to concentrate in state, you know, some would ask, then why are you out there recruiting all these kids outside of the state of Georgia when you were told to begin with to stay inside of So the initiative was made well before there was a change in head coach? Absolutely. If you look at the rest of the coaching staff, nobody on this staff went outside the state of Georgia to recruit. All right, WSAV obtained several hundred travel documents from Savannah State through the Freedom of Information Act, which includes 73 out-of-state recruiting receipts from five different SSU assistant football coaches, this spanning 10 states and Canada. For instance, assistant Barry Castellan spent time in the northeastern part of the United States all the way up to Canada recruiting and the early part of January recruiting in Florida. John Montgomery spent the latter part of January recruiting in South Carolina. Despite the numerous recruiting receipts, Dixon said nobody went outside the state of Georgia to recruit. Wells disputes that claim. All I can say is he was in every one of those staff meetings uh, when uh, we were talking about the recruits and where we had been and uh, when he was there when we put them all up on the board. Was there ever a mandate to stay in the state of Georgia? No, no, there was never a mandate to stay in. Uh, we were told to go out and get the best players and that's exactly what we were doing. Savannah State Sports Information Director Opio Mashariki denied any follow-up interview with interim coach Dixon to address these conflicts. The refusal came in a letter sent to my supervisor, News Director Kevin Brennan. The reason is persistence in questioning about matters that NCAA regulations prohibit us from discussing, specifically status of prospective student athletes currently being recruited, which simply brings up some more questions. The letter again states the university cannot discuss the status of prospective student athletes currently being recruited. But I pose questions primarily about out of state athletes and the university through Coach Dixon has clearly stated they didn't recruit out of state. So which is it? This is Ken Slats, WSAV Sports.